What is going on, you guys? My name is Hugh, and in this week's video, we're going to be doing some regular maintenance on Betty, just changing some oil, putting brand new spark plugs in, and putting a new belt on as well. Hope you guys learned something from this, um, and let's see how this goes. First thing you want to do is you want to take off the car cover if you have one. Uh, 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 well, God. This thing is a dumbass bitch. Next thing you want to do is open up your driver door, otherwise you can't do anything. Wait, why does that sound so familiar? Have I said that before? Uh, nope, doesn't ring a bell. Moving on. Next thing you want to do is find your latch, that way you can open up your hood. It's usually located on the driver's side, underneath the dashboard. Go ahead and start jacking up your car and get it prepped up. Make sure to go fast. <laughs> now, make sure you find the pinch points to put the correct jacks on. Otherwise, your car will fall and break, and that's not going to be fun. Go ahead and start rolling your creeper if you ha uh, have one. Uh, it's a little tight. And then locate where your oil filter and oil drain plug is. Thanks to my handy dandy tools from SK Professionals. Thank you very much. This is one of my favorite kits ever. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want one. Oh, yes, you gotta grab one of these things. Otherwise, your oil can't just leak all over the floor. Go ahead and take the cap off. And leave this little thing a laying thing open so it doesn't start bubbling all over the place. And then place it underneath the car where you think the oil's gonna go. Alright, let's get this drain plug out here. Oh, damn, that thing's a pain in the ass. Oh, oh, oh there it goes. Alright, inspect your drain plug just in case if there's any gasket issues or if there's uh, scratches. Once you're good, go ahead and put it back on the car. It's up to you if you want to use a new one or not, but if your drain plug is good, don't need one. See? Easy. Alright, let's go ahead and get this uh, engine cover off so that way we can access the filter better. Because this thing's kind of in my way. Yeah, perfect. Alright, now I usually twist on my filters by hand, and I can get it pretty dang tight. Now when you start to see a leak of oil, go ahead and let it all drain out before you take the rest of the filter off. You want to make a mess. And just pour the rest of it in that little uh, oil pan there. Just so you can get all that nasty ass oil out of there. Alright, let's get this out of here. I think we're pretty much done with it. Put it to the side for now, we're going to recycle that later. Go ahead and put your new filter in. And go ahead and pop your hood, that way you can access your oil cap. Ugh, get this stupid thing out of the way. Okay, there we go. Oh, might need this. <laughs> yep, smells like flowers. Put the cap back on, make sure it's tight and it clicks. Let's clean up my little mess here. I got a little bit of oil all over the place. Alright, now we're going to move on to the spark plugs. This should be a pretty easy process. Basically, just unplug these little tabs here with a flathead screwdriver. Don't break them. I almost broke one. Be very gentle. And you go ahead and start unplugging all these little cables here. Make sure you label them where they go. Don't get them mixed up. Now I can start getting these coils out of here with just those little screws holding them in. And go ahead and start pulling them out. Be very gentle, you don't want to break these things or the actual rubber seals that are holding them in there too. Now I'm using a specialized socket, that way it grips it better and it's got a magnet inside of it. That way you're not losing your socket inside your engine and you're going to have a problem later on. 
And as you can see, these spark plugs have been in here for quite a while. You can, uh, it's a little bit crusty on the end, burnt a little bit on the uh, screw part, so we definitely need to change these. And these are the brand new ones. This is what it's supposed to look like, not burnt and crispy like a potato chip. Now I actually use a little bit of this anti-seize, that way it's easier to get it off the next time you have to change them um, and they don't get stuck in there over time. Okay, let's drop the first one in here using that same specialized socket, that way it grips it and you don't lose it. There goes another one. You don't want to make these too tight, otherwise you're going to have a problem later on down the road. Let's put the coils back in there, nice and steady. Don't shove them in, don't force them in, don't break them. All right, let's go ahead and replug everything back together. Make sure they are labeled and you know where they're going to go. Don't mix one and two and put four and three in the other one. Otherwise we have some really funky ignitions. And go ahead and screw everything back in. All right, now we're gonna move on to the belt. This is a little bit of a tricky one. Now, if you do have a scale of what the setup is supposed to look like, go print one. This will be super, super helpful. That way you're not just throwing the belt in there randomly. All right, so the first thing I noticed, and I did have to Google this, this little piece right here, you can actually adjust the alternator of how tight you need it to be. So by adjusting this, you could be able to loosen the altar enough to be able to get the belt loose. See, there you go. You can see the altar starting moving around. I gotta loosen these up a little bit more though. Nah, I just took the whole thing out. Perfect. All right, let me go ahead and start grabbing this one off. All right, I always check the belt just in case. Um, the best way to check and see if the belts are good is if it's either worn out or the teeth are just bad or check the measurement compared to the new one. If the old one is too long, it means it's stretched out, it's getting ready to go. Definitely need to change that, especially if it starts squeaking on you too, because you don't want a little hamster and a hamster wheel in your car. It's very annoying. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pass you off to my buddy who's actually working on the car. He is a clone of mine, so don't worry. Um, just follow his steps and you'll be able to get how to put the belt in properly. All right, what do you got here? I'm going to put that belt on around the crack shaft. We're going to put that belt around this thing, the water pump, and then you're going to put that belt open around this thing because that's another pulley. And then you got to put that pulley back on because I took it off before. I ain't going to both take it off. You're not supposed to take it off. You put it, leave it on, then put the belt around it. Then you got to go way up to the top and then put the alternator belt back on, and then that's it. You're done. Get all that. Well, they gave me the belt fell off, so you gotta put that belt back on it. You gotta put it around the alternator, and you're done. Sir, your alternator is giving me a hard time because the belt keeps falling off. I don't understand what goes on here. I keep putting the pulley back on, the pulley on, going falling off because then that alternator is giving me a hard time. I'm gonna put that belt back on and before the habit of it. Well, as long as you follow the diagram, make sure it looks like a dick and you're good to go. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this bracket back in, tighten everything back up again. And now we can put that engine guard back on as well, because we're pretty much done with everything. Alright, close this hood up, because we are done. And then we can take the car off the jacks. Let's go ahead and start her up, make sure everything runs right, and no check engines. Very nice. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. It was a bit of a tutorial one. I really wanted to do another tutorial video for you guys. It's been a long time since I did the last one. So here you go. Hopefully you learned something from this. I'll leave some information down in the description below. That way you guys get stuck. You'll be able to have some help down there in the description. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed this week's video, be sure to give it a fat thumbs up. And I'll see you goons later.